Hi, you found me on the Infertility Channel. My name is Randall Allen Loy, and I'm here to talk today about hysteroscopy. A hysteroscope is a lighted device, sometimes flexible, sometimes rigid, that goes through the vagina, through the cervix, to look inside of the uterine cavity. Now, as reproductive medicine specialists, we have a number of reasons we might want to take a look inside. If, for example, a histogram or an ultrasound has shown some problem, we might want to go in and remove that prior to IVF. Now, what other conditions might we look for? There could be scar tissue from a past unrecognized or recognized infection, maybe a past abortion. There could also be congenital abnormalities of the uterus, for example, a septum that could increase the chance for miscarriage. There might be fibroids, which are smooth muscle cell tumors that occupy space and can cause increased bleeding. There may be some retained placental fragments from a past pregnancy, or there could be an embedded intrauterine device, a contraceptive. So for all those reasons, we might want to assess the cavity. Now your OBGYN might perform this procedure also to so-called ablate the lining, to destroy the lining. And there are a number of different ways to do that for women who have already completed their childbearing. So typically this is done days five through 11 of the menstrual cycle, a couple days after the bleeding has gone off. And this is done in the office or in a hospital setting. And it usually takes just a few minutes to perform, depending upon the procedure, of course. The risks are infection, about one in 1,000 or less. Typically an antibiotic is given. And second is the possibility that that hysteroscope could perforate the top of the uterus and do damage to the intestine, to the bladder, or to a major blood vessel. Exceedingly, exceedingly rare. It's hard to find statistics on that, but I typically tell my patients less than one in 25,000. I've been doing these for 30 years. I've never come close to having any such problems. So hysteroscopy is one of those important procedures, possibly getting you ready for in vitro fertilization, possibly dealing with other problems such as abnormal uterine bleeding or lack of bleeding, a lot of different indications. So it's one of those mainstay surgeries in our field. Now a quick story about hysteroscopy. A few years ago, I had a patient who had fibroids removed, smooth muscle cell growth from inside of her uterus. The procedure went well. She called me two days later and stated that she was doing well, except that she was having rectal bleeding. And I was kind of puzzled and I said, rectal bleeding, are you sure? And she says, absolutely. And so I asked her to come into the office and on examination, I asked her how she was taking the prescribed Finnergan suppositories. Now Finnergan, it's a drug for nausea but this poor soul had failed to unwrap the suppositories from their foil wrappers and was doing considerable damage to her hinder parts. That's a story from hysteroscopy. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you back next week. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, the address below, please tell your friends, subscribe if you will. Thanks.